and welcome back to the AMS tutorial in the previous tutorial we have learned that uh, we have a back con uh, we have a front contact of the glass which is FTO in this case then we have uh, uh, titania which was the first layer and we can name it as a uh, electron transporting layer in the planar sky structure Today we will learn that uh, how we can add the active layer which means that incoming photon will interact with the with this layer and most of the light will be utilized by this layer and we can get the excitons and the conduction and balance band respectively. So for example if we have first card MAPBI3 which is uh, CH3, NH3, PBI3, a methyl ammonium lead iodide, and the most common one. So we need to define all the parameters for this active layer. Then we need to go for the ambient condition and we need to check it. Now let's say we have that, and now we need to load our previous device, which we have named as a first layer. Mm. So I open that. Now we need to add another layer. So I, I, I should click on add. And here the perovskite layer is the methyl ammonium lead iodide. So I need to write that CH3 NH3 and PBI3. And then we need to define the thickness, which is uh, the best thickness uh, at which the perovskite can utilize most of the incoming photons that varies from 300 to uh, 600 nanometers in this case uh, i will take as an example uh, 350 nanometers so in the micrometer it will be 0 0.35 micrometers and then we need to add uh, the electrical properties which is uh, uh, the first is permittivity that is 0.5 for the perovskite and the energy band gap for this specific perovskite is 1.5 and affinity is 3.93 and the effective mm, conduction band density that is uh, for the perovskite that is 2.5 e to the power 20 and for the valence band it will be uh, as it is intrinsic so it means it has both properties n type and p type and it can transport the electrons as well as well as the holes so that's why we need to put the similar uh, values 0.5 e to the power 20 uh, the mobility is let's say 50 50 and uh, the donor concentration and acceptor concentration uh, should be zero for both uh, in the donor and the acceptor case because this is intrinsic uh, semiconductor in this case then we need to define the defects so we have learned that the defects uh, uh, should be the gaussian defects it may be discrete it may be any other but the best one is gaussian a defect uh, states so we need to define that for example if i need to add the uh, the donor or acceptor like gaussian states which will tell us that how our material uh, uh, is good or bad simply that and how much defects we can uh, introduce intentionally so uh, for the perovskite it varies from 10 to the power 14 to 10 to the power 20 so uh, let's say we define the donor concentration and that is a donor like uh, Gaussian states so we need to define that how much density we want to include that is around about uh, e to the power 70 for the perovskite the energy level is 1.2 and the deviation is around about 0 0.1 let's say and the capture cross section for the donor like uh, in the Gaussian state that will uh, be around about 10 to power negative 20 and for the p type uh, for the for the p or for the holes 
that will be e to the power negative 90 if it is for the acceptor like so we only need to switch these numbers it will be 10 to the power negative 19 and this will be 10 to the power negative 20 so we can see that uh, after then we need to define the band tails for these uh, defect states so for the band states for the first guide 0 0.015 in both cases and the ground state will be to the power 14 and the capture cross section for the holes and electrons uh, will vary accordingly uh, this will be 10 to the power 15 and this will be 10 to the power negative 17 and similarly it will be 17 negative 17 to negative 15 then we have mid gap back uh, mid, uh, mid gap states so that will be around about 0 0.56 synergy levels and the ground mid gap will be 10 to power uh, 12 and the capture cross section of acceptor like so this will be 10 to the power negative 17 to 10 to the power negative 15 and 10 to the power negative 15 for the holes to uh, 10 to the power negative 17 so this is actually we only define the uh, the donor like state or the defect states if we want to add the acceptor like so we just need to add the acceptor like from that button and we just uh, need to put all the information for that state as well so uh, we 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 must define both of the uh, both of the defect states for this material as we have learned in the previous lecture then we have the optical uh, condition for this one so as we we learn that this is the active layer so the incoming photon will be utilized by this layer so we need to define the uh, the wavelength or the region or the range of the wavelength that is for the perovskite it is uh, in uh, the, uh, the visible region so we need to define like 300 to uh, 900 nanometers so we can find that from the file so we need to go to the file and then we need to absorption spectra for the proskite that is varies from 300 if we have if, if we can see this is 320 nanometers to uh, around 800 and 880 nanometers so this is uh, we need to define for this material as we have seen that for the titania so we didn't uh, show that uh, range the reason was that that uh, this device is not photoactive or uh, we suppose that uh, most of the light will pass through this material so we consider that as a transparent and this one is considered the photoactive which means that most of the incoming light will be utilized by this uh, material so that's why we need to define the the photons uh, level at which of which of the range will be utilized so for the perovskite it varies uh, from 300 to 900 which is the visible region so this is uh, all about the active layer then we will learn how we can add the other layers as well